It's not the same as his days overseas, but Mitchell Falk says the intensity is a close second. I wouldn't think I could compare my platoon in Iraq to the group of ladies I work with here, but you certainly can. Uh, they get the job done. The Marine has a new uniform these days. Yeah, my wife was a nurse before I was. Uh, I was getting out. We were blessed enough to have the GI Bill. Um, so I figured, why not get a degree? She pushed me towards nursing, nursing school. Um, I'm a go with it guy, so that's what I fell into. Had no idea how much I would love it. Mitchell is serving on the front lines of the pandemic as a nurse in the intensive care unit at Cone Health Wesley Long Hospital. My senior year at UNCG, I did a, a couple hundred hours here on this very unit here at the Wesley ICU. Um, and I just kind of knew from there that uh, it was something special. Interestingly enough, this isn't what he did in the Marine Corps. I was a radio man. He was in communications. His specialty was radio repair. Mitchell spent the final part of his military career at a medical battalion in Camp Pendleton in California. And that's where I finished up, and that was my first taste of the medical field. Being a Marine taught him skills that have transferred seamlessly into the ICU, including teamwork and the ability to adjust from Plan A to Plan B, both critical in the fight against COVID. A lot of things are completely different than the way we treated just standard respiratory distress, you know, in, in the early spring when this thing was first kicking up. Uh, but I was, I was kind of really proud, I still am, of how quick we were able to adjust fire, kind of recalibrate, coming at it from a different angle. Often seeing people during the worst time of their lives, Mitchell's priority is being a compassionate caregiver. You'll run through all of the emotions up here. I've cried at work, I'm not afraid to say it. It gets, uh, it gets stressful and you lose people that you build a relationship with. But he remains encouraged by the many patients who do return to their lives. You know, when you have a patient now where it looks like they're not going to make it, you remember there's miracles out there. Things do turn around. In Greensboro, Natalie Wilson, Fox 8 News.